So yeah, my name is Edward Fox. Um, I'm a recent mining engineer graduate from the West Australian School of Mines. Um, I spent two years at the Curtin Family Campus um, and then went to wasn't for two years. Uh, I'm an ex-core student, um, so studied at uh, Kent Street Senior High School under Susie Evernack. Um, and yeah, that's what sort of got me into mining, I suppose. So I first heard about CORE um, in year 10 uh, when I became a student of Susie Evna. She sort of um, pushed me down the path of um, STEM and mining engineering and um, yeah, sort of sparked my interest, I suppose, in, uh, in the whole field. CORE gave me direction. Um, to put it bluntly, um, I now have a job out of the CORE program, essentially. It gave me, it gave me so many contacts. I meet people to this day, and I've, you know, this is four years out of high school. I meet people to this day that still recognise the core program. I'm like, oh, you're a you're a Susie Evernack student, you're a core member, and that instantly creates conversation, um, which is really nice to see. Um, but yeah, I still get uh, calls from people about the core program, and this is you know, ages past the time that I graduated. Right? What interested me was uh, her enthusiasm just for uh, STEM in general. Um, up until that point, I hadn't really had a teacher that had sparked my interest in any particular subject. Um, so it was nice to see how much enthusiasm she brought to the classroom and it really sort of sparked my interest in going into something STEM related, I suppose. Yeah. But I didn't have any expectations to start with. Um, I sort of just jumped in um, and hoped for the best. I, I, I just tried it out to see whether I'd like it or not. Um, and yeah, as I said before, it was more her enthusiasm that sort of drove me down that pathway. And I, I figured out that I was actually quite good at things to do with the STEM stuff. I was, I was decent at maths, but I never really knew how to apply it. And then um, doing her um, sort of field work and uh, lab experiments um, sort of brought things to life as such um, and related things back to the real world. Throughout call, um, you go on multiple um, field trips and do multiple different uh, investigations. Um, so in year 11, we went on a field trip to Shark Bay, um, and then in year 12, we went on a field trip to the Yildon Cradle um, to sort of learn about the mining industry and the resources industry in general. Um, the field trip to Shark Bay was that first taste of applying what you learn in the classroom to the real world. Um, and not only that, you get to go to Shark Bay, which is pretty awesome as well. CORE relates everything back to real world scenarios. Um, one of the major skills that I do find in my job now is report writing. Um, sounds super boring, but um, Irby um, constructs, you know, or teach you how to construct certain reports that you can then, um, or that, that then I've adapted to my job, essentially. Um, report writing is so important for the STEM industry, so um, learning this skill is super valuable. Uh, but not only that, learning how to uh, meet people and come across people and put yourself out there, um, create networks, that is also a really, really important part of uh, the core program as well, so I find that every single day. Jump in and do it. Um, I didn't really know what I wanted to do before I um, started, started STEM, but just take your opportunities, um, jump in, see if you like it. If you don't, then so be it. You can, you know, at least you don't, or you know now, right? Um, but yeah, just jump in. Um, it's a great industry to be a part of, and especially within WA as well, the resource sector and the STEM sector in general is just so extensive. Um, so there are countless amount of opportunities out there that everyone